Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to fix normal orientation on uh, players <coughs> in PEZ. So this is um, an issue you can encounter when converting faces from eFootball to PEZ 2021. And once you've converted the player and it looks fine, you might load it into your game and uh, something like this happens. So you can see there's like this dark patch of hair and sometimes it will be less obvious, sometimes it will be more obvious. But if you don't know about this concept then you won't be able to fix this because it's very uh, difficult to find. So you might think maybe the texture is bad, or maybe you've applied the wrong texture, or maybe you know your your roughness and um, or translucency textures are wrong, or your alpha. There's a problem with the alpha texture, but this isn't actually the case. As you can see, this is the uh, face, and this dark patch of hair isn't actually dark here. So you know that it's not a texture issue, right? So this is when we introduce this concept called uh, normal orientation. And to see this, you go up here to the uh, overlays menu and you click face orientation. So as you can see, anything that's red, that's solid red, will come up as a problem, right? And each one of these faces has a different side, right? So sometimes you can see it's red on the underside, but because it also exposes this blue side, it's fine. However, this is entirely red, which means the blue side is on the underside. So to select this, you select the uh, the mesh that it's in, and this is the hair transfer mesh. And I think, yep. So you want to go to solid. So you hold Z and then go to solid. And now you hit tab. So to select these red ones, you just left click and hold control for each one. And I think some of this is actually in the hair mesh as well, so I have to fix it. But once you've selected the vertices, control L, and that will select the entire face. And then you press Alt N, and then click on Flip. Now we need to go to the other mesh, and we need to select the also the red uh, vertices here. Again, control with Control left click, yeah? So if you just left click, it will just move things. It will just keep deselecting the last vertex. If you hold Control, you can select multiple vertices. And now once you've selected a vertex in each one of these faces, you can press Ctrl L to select the whole face and then Alt N and then click flip again. So what I'm going to do now is go back to object mode and I'm going to export the face. And the texture is already converted so I don't need to take this box. And I'm just going to go to where I have the uh, conversion saved, which is here. This is the file that's open in Blender. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste it into my slider. So now it should fix this problem. So as you can see, this issue has been fixed. And uh, sometimes the problem is very obvious with this one because he has very light hair, so you can you know see the problem. But other faces, it's a lot more difficult and um, to see. But once you've spotted it, it's quite easy to once you know. So as you can see, uh, it's quite easy to spot. So here, there's actually another problem here with this black uh, streak in his hair. So we can actually try and fix that. I'll see if we can find it. So it's this, as you can see, there's uh, this one, one part that's inverted. So again, click it, Control L, Alt N, and flip it. And now again, we're just going to export the face. And we're gonna take the converted file and put it into Blender. Yeah, uh, I put it back into the slider directory, sorry. So after I've refreshed this player, that black streak on the right side of his head should be gone. So just gonna have a look at this. See if it fixes the problem. Yeah, so as you can see that problem is fixed now and he doesn't have that black streak. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, this has helped you understand this problem and how to fix it.